Hello YouTube and welcome to my first tutorial in a while. This one is from a request which is how to make the nice pretty looking skyboxes that I have in a couple of videos. So you can see I've set up one of the skyboxes that I use. You can see it's fairly seamless. You can't really see any obvious bits sticking out. So this is what we're going to be working to create inside Blender. So to start off, you're going to open up your browser and go over to tutorials for blender3d.com. <sighs> Sorry for the fan. As always, it's loud. Um, I'm going to head over to the skybox. And you want to select any one of these, whichever you fancy, or you can go ahead to any other website and download whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead with Cloudless Early, you can see I already downloaded it. So you're just going to get to this image, you're going to right click, save image as, and save it on your desktop, which I have here. Alright, so with that done, we're going to open up Blender. And one sec, let me just turn on key things, whatever they're called. Uh, I'll just describe what I'm doing. Anyway, so we're going to start off by making a cube. So Shift A, go to Mesh and Cube. We're going to scale it up with S so it's nice and large. And if we hit P to play, you can see it's see through from the inside. If we go outside, you can see it, but inside it's see through. That's bad. We're going to press Tab, W, Flip Normals, and that fixes that. Basically, it just flips the orientation of which we view it. So from inside, we can see. It. Now we're going to delete the bottom face, we're going to edit mode by tab, select the vertices, right clicking and holding shift, press X, and deleting the face. So now it's hollow. I'm going to lift it up and squash it down by selecting the vertices and bringing it down. And now here comes the boring part. We have to UV map the cube, which isn't too hard, just slightly boring to watch. We're going to give the cube a new texture, call it the Skybox. Oops. Make it shadeless and give it a new texture also called Skybox. Make it an image or movie. Go to open and go to your desktop and open up the image that we downloaded. Now we're going to hit tab U, oops, tab U and we're going to select Smart UV Project and in the texture options where it says mapping we're going to set that to UV. Now we're going to head over to UV editing and press Alt Z on this side so we can see everything. And oh my nose, sorry for sorry for my nose. Um on this side we're going to press N and we are going to press tab on our cube. Select all the faces of A. Oops, press reset and just unwrap normally actually. So just U, reset, and unwrap. And we're going to load up that texture. So that was the skybox. So down here, go to skybox. And here we have our texture. And all we need is UV vertex open. So we can close down everything here except for UV vertex. Now we're going to set every single vertex here so it matches up with the skybox texture. Now since I already pre-measured this texture before, it was 1024 by 1024, you can it's fairly easy for this, I'll just give you the dimensions right away. The dimensions you're going to be using is 2,252, 0, 772, and 1,024. So, all you're basically doing is just playing with the numbers until you get something that works. Whoops. Yeah. Um, little mistake that I just did. Uh, you don't want to select the whole entire cube. You just want to select certain faces. So I'm going to start off with this face right here. Just my mistake. And I'm just going to work ahead from what I got up to. And then you have to go face by face. I'm just going to select this face now. And I will use it on this side. 
<coughs> there we go. And then you can see it's starting to match up. So we select this face now. Same deal. Oops. Ooh, that one's 1024. 52. 1024, I apologize if this is boring. It is not exactly the definition of exciting. But it's nearly done. You can live through it. So, oops. So yeah, this is all just guess and check pretty much until we get the right thing. Alright, now up to the last face, just the top, which is the easiest. There we go. So now we can head over back to our default view and it is done. We have our nice, perfect looking skybox done. So going to change this to sun. Tada. Look around, we have our nice skybox. Um, now obviously, if you're using it in game, you might want to scale it up a lot. So you just press this to scale and oops. Scale it up, up and up and up. And just another heads up is that if it is in game, you might have camera clipping issues. If it's too large, as you can see here, you get a massive clipping. To fix that, you want to select your camera, go to the camera settings, and change end to something a lot larger, like 1000. And then you can see it goes a lot further. So you won't get any of those ugly issues. So there you have it. A nice seamless sky dome in Blender. Oops. So that's all for this tutorial. I'll be making another tutorial really soon. Probably tonight. About faking light rays from another request. So that's all for now YouTube. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll be back for a while now.